Welcome to Travel Beans. Today we are in Boho in a small place called Anda. And this place, hands down, is the best secret spot we've found so far. I'm mm. sure it's not actually a secret. But, but it feels like it, doesn't it? Because there's just no one here. There's like a handful of people staying at our resort and that's all we've seen other than locals. One amazing thing about the Philippines is because there's 7,000 islands, more than 7,000. It means that all the tourists and the locals are spread out across all of these mm. islands. So there's not many spots where everyone's at. So even the most busy spots are not that busy, especially yeah. compared to Thailand. It's not so concentrated, is it? Whereas Thailand, you know, everyone knows to go to Koh Phangan, everyone knows to go to Koh Samui. So everyone okay. goes to those places mm -hmm. and it's very, saturated with tourists. This place though is something special. Uh, there's a few beaches alongside where we're staying here and they're really quiet, they're really secluded and the sand is so white. So white and the water's so clear, it's unreal. But there's no use in just telling you, we should show you. Time goes by, yeah, you and I are running out, running out. Footage. Oh my god, but it was not easy to get guys. It was very stressful. I'll have you know <laughs> So if you saw the last video that we did We basically tell you that we kind of screwed our drone a few videos we? before I did something bad and got mm. salt water in the drone a few <laughs> about a week ago uh, It's been working fine until today when I went to go and fly this drone. It's not in a good way uh, it wouldn't even fly for a while. Eventually I got that up. After hours. Not been in the best mood because of this today, so just trying to get past the fact that, you know, it's just something material, like it doesn't really matter. But anyway, got it up and it did have a mind of its own. It was flying all over the place. The gimbal was flying all over the place. However, it did work enough to get some of those really cool shots and yeah. hopefully show you why you need to make Ando one of your next destinations. Ever since we woke up this morning, I have been 
looking longingly into this clear, beautiful water. So... Well, basically, I won't let her go in there until we've oh been filming God, and she I'm gets very frustrated. <laughs> but we're going to go snorkeling and for the first time ever, I've been given by our hotel one of these crazy fucking weird masks. <laughs> I've only ever seen these in videos. I don't really know what's going <laughs> I'm gonna on. Help you put on. I feel like Darth Vader or something. No. <laughs> you look no. great. Oh god. I... <sighs> you sound like Darth Vader actually. I feel like I'm in quarantine. <laughs> you feel like... like I'm sick. I don't know if I can hear you. Oh. But yeah, it does sound like and look like you're in quarantine. So we're going to go and get in this beautiful azure blue. I hope that's the right word. Azure. It just sounds Azure. good. It just sounds like a nice word. We're going to go in there, do a little swim and a little snorkel, and then we're going to go have a little drive and explore around Anda. So this is where I'm going to hit the camera and you'll see me in a minute. This is really good. I've never used this before and it's like a very enjoyable experience. It's not really going in my face and my eyes. But also there's a cave! As you're snorkeling you can see loads of these little indents and caves and coves and there's no one around in any of them. But this one we've found we're gonna have a little explore. I mean I don't think I'm gonna explore for very long. Um, Okay, it doesn't go much deeper than that. It's just darkness there, but... This is so cool! This is honestly one of the coolest things that I've found snorkeling. This is so cool. Just got back from snorkeling and it was bloody amazing. I saw a sea snake, which some people think is kind of scary because they are super venomous, but they also don't really come up to you, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, and they're like the perfect animal for the water as well. They just like swim through the water and they kind of have this weird little flat tail, the black and white stripes, but unfortunately I didn't get any footage of it. Our GoPro was not being our best friend today. It was having some issues, so not only have we had some issues with the drone, we've had some issues with the GoPro, and all in all, I was very sad today. But one thing that I always try to do when I come to a beachside place or an island is snorkeling because chasing our happiness this year, we wanna do everything that makes us happy. And I must say snorkeling time and time again, I don't think I've ever been in a bad mood after snorkeling. Snorkeling makes me so happy. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that kind of sense of freedom when you're just out in the water floating around like without a care in the world or if it's the animals that you see it just it makes me feel very humble and very happy and very insignificant but in the best of ways as emma's just said we had a problem not only with our drone today but our gopro which we've only had for about two weeks stopped working when i was snorkeling earlier and when we came out it looked like it's completely broken although I think since then I've fixed it, so that's great. However, I've had a pretty bad day today and this is really weird because I tell you guys stuff that I wouldn't tell my friends back home. It's very strange to be talking to you guys about the ups and the downs and usually for me I'm a pretty happy guy and even though when Emma was suffering with depression I still was there always in a good mood to try and bring her out of it. Luckily Emma has been in a great mood, she loves snorkeling, it is just makes her so happy so it's so awesome to see her really happy but for me what really makes me happy is filming it's just to be honest my biggest passion like we don't have a right to be happy all of the time and I think that makes it even worse when you feel like you have everything in place to have the best day ever and you don't I just kind of wanted to be honest with you guys and show that like the different side of travel because for us we don't like watching YouTube videos of people where everything is perfect because it's just not something that we can relate to. It's not something that 
we've experienced because there is a lot of ups and downs with the travel and I do love to show how great it can be but I also want this as a reflection for myself in 30 years when I go back and watch all these videos so I think this is about for us even like um, telling you guys it's about a way of dealing with those bad days and knowing that there's better days on the horizon when the GoPro broke we were in this cave under the water a different cave than you saw on the video and I was telling Emma like how upset I was and I just wanted to go back and she's like Alex look we're in paradise we're in a cave in the water and I couldn't bring myself to be happy in amongst the cave looking at the amazing blue ocean it's just a very empty experience so something I want to ask you guys and uh, hopefully you can sort of help me for future days when you know get in your head if you get in your head it's not good and some people are not going to understand this because it won't feel like something that you can relate to but I know other people that do go through the same problem trying to be in a good place all of the time is that it just doesn't happen so I just want to ask you guys what do you do if you're having a bad day what tools do you use to get you out of that because hopefully this won't just help me in the future hopefully this will help other people that are watching that can really relate to this that maybe we can help each other out on getting ourselves out of these bad moods so one thing I have been doing since then is we've just recently released the video from the uh, in Cebu when we were doing the jumping in mobile in the canyons and I've been reading the comments and people are, you're so nice thank you so much you're so nice and you have helped me a lot uh, with these amazing comments and people keep saying like that happiness in the Philippines is guaranteed almost because this is the place to come and be happy and I do agree although it doesn't always work that way actually we had one comment from someone and I'm sorry I can't remember who said this but something that's really stuck with me for the last two days since I've read it is that they just said welcome home and I thought that was the nicest comment uh, it just really made me feel quite emotional because I do feel this amazing connection with this country there's something very special here and I'm feeling so guilty and annoyed with myself that I'm feeling bad and I just it's so stupid like material things of a camera and a drone uh, they should not be upsetting me while I'm out here so I need to kind of reevaluate some stuff as well and I still have we have four cameras and I can film on basically all of those and make a video for you guys so I shouldn't really worry too much but I do want to keep getting better and, I, and I'm just enjoying the Philippines and filming here so much that it's just heartbreaking the thought of not being able to film what I want to film over the next two weeks that we're still here. So I, firstly I want to say sorry for what in theory should be an amazing video but also I'm hoping that in a few years time I'm going to watch this and be like wow what a place what a day even though I was feeling bad like memories don't really work like that you don't really remember so much the feeling you had at the time you just get this kind of nostalgia and happiness from those videos so it's kind of like memory insurance as well making these videos a memory insurance for us so probably the most depressed way I'm ever going to say this to you guys is if you like the video there's a little thumb up and each one of those just gives me that little bit of ego boost that I need to get me through the day so make sure you press it just this time if you watch the videos and you don't usually press it this time just just press it just for me please and also then you're gonna leave a comment you're probably gonna say something like god why are you so depressing I'm unsubscribing I'm sorry I'm trying to be real with you and if not maybe to say something nice because that really will help me in the future or help Emma when she's having a bad day or hopefully even help other people that are watching when they're having bad days and finally if you're watching just try and subscribe just just press the button and see if you like it even if you don't watch any more of our videos like that's all right we get the number of the subscriber and that is really good for ourselves and our own ego so this is going to be the most depressed way i'm ever going to say Bee! <laughs> beans out